JJ is a former college baseball player who cut his teeth in Brian Sanders baseball, marketing baseball teams forever. And now he's on with us as the CEO of the Austin Gamblers. Okay, 10 years ago, no way, right? It wasn't even a thought, or am I wrong? Why are you, what are you doing? How'd this happen? Six months ago, it wasn't a thought. Okay, how'd this, how'd this come down? You know, interesting story. Uh, I had just finished my 24th year with the Ryans. Yeah. Just turned 50. Okay. Started thinking a little bit about retirement. Yeah. Got together with my wife and kind of came up with a 10-year plan. Okay. Got with our financial guy and said, what do I need to do? And put everything in place. And then a week later, we get a call from a headhunter who's looking for a CEO for a new bull riding team that's moving to Austin. Unbelievable. And then two weeks later, everything switched. <laughs> okay. So. Did you ever watch bull riding? Yeah, I mean, so I grew up in Nebraska. I yeah. got a big ag family. Our, um, okay. My cousins are some of the biggest cattle feeders in the nation. I've got another cousin that is the CEO of the Cowboy Channel. So I'd been around it. Okay, okay. Knew enough to be dangerous, but, you know, didn't know a ton about the PBR. Yeah. Didn't know anything about this new team series they were doing. Yeah. And pretty much had to learn everything. Golly, man. Well, look, the, I, 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 judging you on today, this has been awesome. And I'm not, I'm not shocked because you've done this forever. I'm not sure if you've been in a rainstorm on the radio <laughs> show. You've done a lot in this business, so I am not surprised that it turned out. This is a good turnout. We all are happy. It looks cool to me. It's a good bit. Well, my guys try to stand for eight seconds. we got to stand for eight more minutes, Mike. Eight, eight more minutes. I mean, if it starts pouring, you don't have to stay and risk your life. I wouldn't want to get. I wouldn't want that to happen. It's, hey, that'd be good PR, it's, though. It's imminent, the rain. Good Lord. As long as there's no lightning, right, Andy? Are we good? All right, I'm trying to have a so. conversation here with a dude. Okay. Yeah, right. power through it. Be a true professional. This is great media. Oh, it's great. I mean, it is. Okay, it, you know, we'll it actually it. is radio I, I gold. Feel, I feel like the Reverend when he was when he was having that great round in Caddyshack. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we ain't stopping. Here in a minute, Seven we're more be, minutes. We're going to be Lieutenant Dan in the Hellstorm on the shrimp boat here in a minute. <laughs> keep your board. socks dry. All right, so are you the oldest guy on the team, the CEO, a bunch of young kids? <laughs> yeah. You're having a so, nice bunch of babies, probably. Yeah, so I'm 50. Our head coach, G-Man, he's 52. Yeah. And then we've got uh, two guys in their early 30s, and then we got a bunch of – we got a 20-year-old, a 21-year-old, yeah. a 22-year-old, yeah. a couple 25-year-olds. Yeah. Okay. So these are kids. Yeah. You know, I mean, they're men. Don't don't well, doubt that. Oh, for sure. I mean, but, uh, no, the, these guys are, are some of the greatest athletes I've ever been around. They're the most humble human beings. For real. No doubt. For real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, sure. and, I, and I think a lot of that comes from the fact that your your job, your profession is you're getting on, you're 135, 155 pounds, and you're getting on a 2,000 bull, 2,000 pound bull, yeah. and all it wants to do is throw you off and destroy you. Literally. And so I think that will tend to humble some guys out, but they're just yeah. the nicest guys yeah. that I've ever been around. So, okay, well, dude, I'm, I'm proud of the work y'all have done so far, and you got a presence already and stuff. Are you, obviously, you have the big series event coming up in August, which I, I would like to go to. Yeah, we should go. How's it going? How's the reception been up, up in Austin? It's been good. You know, it's okay. been short. You know, we, we launched this thing in April there, and, uh, you know, we're short-staffed. We're short on time, but... You know, we've got a lot of things in our favor. We had the number one draft pick, and we obviously you talked to Jose Vitor Leme. Yeah, yeah, that was good. We feel like we've got a good team. We've got a good coach. Um, we've got a great venue. You know, in the Moody Center, if you've not been up to a show there, it's a world-class venue. I haven't seen it yet. I want to. So between, you know, when you look at the Central Texas market with Austin, Kyle, Buda, San Marcos, New Braunfels, San Antonio, we really feel like that's our home. Almost really Waco to San Antonio, College Station to Marble Falls. Yeah. We want to own that area, cool. and so we, you know, we feel like there, there's a good opportunity. We've got basically 10 days till the start of our season, and about six weeks uh, until our home event. But we feel good about it. Cool. This is these all these guys have never been in a series like this with their teammates. How do how do they go on in, a, in an individual sport? And I asked Austin about this earlier. Do you have rivalries? Do y'all hate each other? Said, no, we all pull for each other, kind of like golfers do. But now they're on a team concept. How are how are they? How, what feedback are you getting from guys on the team as far as how this has gone? And are they, are they cool with it? they liking it? they digging it? No. And it's interesting, and this is, and I want to thank you because you set us up with UTSA and Jeff Trailer. You know, their motto this year is Bull Don't Care. Yeah. And that's what our guys know and live every day. And so for us to be able to take Jose and Austin and talk to their players yeah. about that Bull Don't Care mentality, 
But the reality is, is that all of our guys have been individual riders their entire careers. Right. And now we're trying to create that team concept that Jeff has built out there. Uh -huh. And you look at all the T-shirts and all the stickers around their weight training facility and everything else. That's what we're trying to do. But in the short amount of time that our guys have been on this team, it's unbelievable on how well that they've bonded cool. and how much they wanted to be together. When we talk about traveling and everything else, they don't want other guys. They don't want to be near other guys. They don't want other teams hanging out with our guys. That's cool. We had a trainer, or our trainer is a guy that worked out with several guys from several other teams. They're like, no, he either trains us yeah. by himself or no one. So these guys wow. have bought into it, and uh, it, it's been really neat to watch for, for athletes that have never been in and around a team setting to buy into it so much. What's something you were worried about that you realized, okay, I didn't need to worry about this so much. It's gone fine. Uh, a lot. I was going to say, I bet you were, I mean, there's probably some apprehension. You know, the, 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 the hardest thing for us so far has been uh, an educational process on multiple levels. Trying to educate people on who the gamblers are. Oh, yeah. Trying yeah. to educate people on what the PBR is, right. what makes it different from rodeo. Trying to educate the, now people that know PBR, what's PBR team series. So we're not just teaching people about one thing, we're teaching them about a lot. And my worry was we've got so many messages that we're trying to create and, and teach people. Yeah. But the reality is, is that once people see bull riding, yeah. either on TV or in person, or for someone like you that got to go out and actually get on a bull yesterday or attempt to, <laughs> once you get that to. close, yeah, yeah. The, the respect that you've got for the animal and for these riders in this yeah. sport, it, it, it happens pretty quickly. Right. And uh, people buy into it really fast. How about old school hardcore PBR fan who's getting used to the series? How would have you heard from them? Your core guys, you know, buy tickets for sure. You know, there's a lot of people because they're, they, they, they're a little NASCAR ish. You know, they get sure. behind their guy. I'm number three. I like number three. I like yeah. number 11, you know. Yeah. But I, I think once we get this thing going, because at the end of the day, they want to root for their riders. Yeah. And they're going to end up rooting for those teams that their riders are on. Right. Because if you're a... Um, so it's, about the, it's about the riders. Yeah, because if you're a Dak Prescott fan in college at, at Mississippi State, no you're, you're, you're going to probably be a, a fan of the Cowboys. Yeah. If you're a fan of, um, uh, you know, whoever in college, wherever they go to pros, yeah. that's going to usually be who you're with. All right, it's starting to rain. We'll let you go. Wait, All right, buddy. We're done. All right, thank you, JJ Goss, CEO of the Gamblers. Thank you guys for having us out here. We're going to get the hell out of here. Perfect, perfect timing. Perfect timing. Now it's starting to...